Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we are going to take a closer look at the new Slimline Burst Builder die set. This is a part of the new The Greatest Friend on Earth release from Trinity Stamps. So here is how it looks. It comes all uh, spaced out and uh, you can cut them apart if you like, but I will recommend to keep them together because I will show you a couple of fun ways that you can use these today. So I just picked out a couple of uh, pieces of cardstock from my stash and then I went in and cut it out. So I will show you here how I alternate between this white glitter cardstock and the mirror cardstock here. So I started out by using a slimline panel that is three and a half by eight and a half and you will see I started out with a large uh, corner pieces there and I can layer this together like a puzzle so my recommendation is um, I use this directly on a card base and I will actually end up cutting this out and down later on but my recommendation is that you are using a scrap piece of paper or copy paper or anything that is really thin and I will show you that in a second here as well. I will just show you how I'm like paper piecing this one together and it went together super easy when I got started here. So I do, I'm do. i doing the other side and now I'm starting with those corner pieces and working my ma my way into the middle. So this is one way you can create this and I had no problem everything went together really nicely and I will speed this up a little bit because I <laughs> have quite a few examples on how you can put these together today because this was really a fun die set that you can use in many ways but I just like that mirror cardstock and the reflective that it gives off a rainbow so much fun. So here you can see how it starts to come together and it's also so nice when you can see that everything layers together in the perfect puzzle like this. So quite addictive, you can spend some time <laughs> cutting out pieces of your scrap piece of paper and just go ahead and create these. So here is how it looks when it was all done. And as I said, I will cut this down later on, but I like how this turned out as well. You could leave it as it is if you would like. So here is a closer look at how it looks. So here is a second way of doing this. This is just a standard A2 size uh, panel. I started out with these and it's copy paper, so it's super thin. And I will just go around and alternate between these two pinks. And here you can see I'm just going from one side to the to the other and um, I'm keeping everything as aligned as I possibly could but it didn't actually matter because in the end everything layered together really nicely into a point anyway. So here it is and then I'm cutting slightly underneath uh, the pieces here so nothing of the white is showing. And then I off camera created a second panel. So now you can take these two panels and point them together. And there you have your uh, burst builder all, all ready to go as well. And here you can see them side by side how they look. So that is another way. And I also wanted to share with you how it looks when you have an A2 size panel. And how that will fit uh, on top of it. And how much white space there is around it. So here is a second way that you can use it. This is the scrap piece of paper, but I will actually use it on my card here. So this is a standard A2 sized card front and I adhere this. If I would have been smart, I would have cut down this panel before I adhered it. So it also was um, the same size, um, five and a half by four and a quarter. But I didn't, so I will end up cutting that down after I adhere all my inlay pieces here. So it would be really fun to do this in a rainbow or something like that as well. So one last idea I wanted to share with you is this. And here I just hold the scrap piece of paper in place when I glue this all uh, in place. And then I will end up lifting this and you can see how much fun this is. I didn't place it down perfectly centered, but you will see here that you can play around and maybe cutting it down. And there you have it. So here is a project with uh, that I created with this uh, die. 
and a couple of other new products from Trinity Steps. I think that turned out super cute. And here is some more inspiration from the design team. If you want even more inspiration, please visit our blog, Instagram account and Facebook group. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!